you know, dopamine, the, the wisdom is there are adaptive ways to get your dopamine and there are less than adaptive ways. And in general, um, you could describe the adaptive ways as not too potent, so not tipping that balance too hard or too fast to the side of pleasure. So does that mean never allowing myself to be absolutely in complete bliss? Or does it mean not allowing myself to stay in that state too long? The latter, I think the latter. An extreme example of this would be going to Disneyland for eight hours a day, every day, riding rides. <laughs> and then eating candy and junk food all day. If you were a kid, you'd be on the wildest dopamine ride of your life. And I think for some adults, that would be pretty awesome for them as well. So we have to balance our experiences in life and we can't go to the movies all the time and eat junk food. Sitting on the couch watching TV versus doing a workout. Good guy wins, bad guy loses. Drinking a soda versus drinking water. Playing video games versus going outside for a walk. <laughs> Watching Netflix all night versus going to bed at a reasonable time. <laughs> we are constantly having to pick between the easy thing and the tough thing. That doesn't mean you can't indulge in these things every now and then and have an awesome time. If I could eat at Fogo de Chao every night, your boy would be in heaven, but then it wouldn't make it as special. So when it comes to your health, we gotta make sure we're doing the tough things more than the easy things on a consistent basis. Get after it. <laughs>